What up guys, Alex here, GuitarForge.com. I hope you are safe and healthy. And in today's lesson, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite bands, Black Sabbath, and the song is called The Wizard. And um, in today's lesson, we're going to take a look at uh, the uh, rhythm guitar parts only. The lesson on the solo is going to be on a separate video. And when it's done, uh, you can find the link in the description box down below. The tabs and the backing track are going to be available at GuitarForce.com and um, for the sound I was using again the VST plugin guitar rig. The tuning is going to be standard and uh, now I'm going to show you the pictures, the picture of the preset that I was using for this uh, lesson and while you are checking it out I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so now let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so basically in this song we have three main riffs and we're gonna start off with the intro riff which goes like this. Alright, so what we have here is we have three chords in the beginning power chords A, going to C, back to A. And that's that's our first part, that's the first part of the of this riff. Then we have um, going into the next bar we have a, a, a rest first. Uh, so we start off playing on the one end, so on the off beat. And here we have a double stop which is on the second and the third strings on the fifth fret we hit it once we hit it second time with the slight bend and then we have so here we have a hammer on 5 to 7 on the A string 5 on D then we have a quick slide a grace note from the seventh fret to the fifth on the A string go into the third fret and then we go to the low E string we have a pull off quick pull off 5 to 3 and then we go right into the beginning of the of the riff so this part the second part is going to go like this slowly and you can also it's not necessarily but you can hit uh, on the one on the when the uh, bar starts on one you can hit the muted strings just in the beginning until you uh, get familiar with the with the rhythm and then play the double stop so it would be like this okay but then once you get used to the rhythm you you don't have to play the muted strings but in, in the beginning you can do that so now let's put together the whole riff slowly it's gonna go like this So also keep in mind that there are two guitars going on on the original track. So sometimes and also sometimes Tony uh, during live versions he would play instead of uh, this double stop he would just play the chord to give it a more you know to make it more heavier sound. So just keep that in mind. And also another thing is um, when we progress into the song and we play this riff later on during the song. There is also, he's doing um, slides up and down the neck after he plays the chord. So he would play. So going down and then up, and then playing the second part. Like that. Alright, so during the intro we play this riff for four times and then the last time when we play it we end on the A notes on the low E string 5th fret and then he goes into sort of um, a, a little bit of lead break there so I'm gonna play it through uh, right now and then we're gonna break it down so it goes like this All 
right, so this phrase, we're going to break it up into parts. So the first part starts off with... So here what we do, we play uh, third fret to the fifth on the A string. You can do, you can pick it or you can play uh, hammer on. And then right after that we play the quick hammer on pull off on the same frets. So three, five, three. So the first figure, that's the figure. And we do it two times. Then we continue. So five to seven on the A string go into D 5th fret, then we have again picking the notes and uh, hammering on onto the 7th fret. So that's the first bar. Then we continue. That's the second part of the of this um, run. So we have pull off 7 to 5 on the D string, go into the A 7th fret, then going back to the D5 to 7, 5th fret on the G, back to the 7th fret on the D. And these all are 16th notes, the last one is um, an 8th note, and then we have... So here, pull off again 7 to 5 on the D string, go into A 7th fret, and then we have grace notes, a quick hammer on on the D string 5 to 7. So this second bar is going to go like this. Okay, moving on, we have the next bar which goes like this. So here we start off by um, bending the G string on the 7th fret. Then we go to the B string 5, 8, 5. And then back to the G string 7th fret, you bend it up, bring it down, pull off to the 5th fret, and then do another pull off 7 to 5. Go into the D string 7th fret, and then again we have a grace note from 5 to 7 on the same string. So one more time, this part of the phrase goes like this. And then the last part we have... So 5-7 on A, go into the D string 5th fret, then we continue 5-7 on D, go into 5th fret on uh, G string, then we go back, pull off 7 to 5 on the D, 7 on A, and then 5 to 7 on the D string. And we stay on these notes for a little bit longer. So this part of the phrase... Alright, so now I'm going to put all four parts of this scale run uh, together. Slowly it's going to go like this. Alright, so after this part we go back to the previous riff playing it exactly the same, we play it for two times. We end on these notes, on the 5th fret on the low E string, the A notes, and then we go into the next part. Alright, so the next part is the verse, and uh, first we start off by uh, playing the riff two times without the vocals and then on the third time the, vo the vocals kick in. So the, uh, the figure itself goes like this. So that's pretty much it for the, for the, cor uh, for the chords. So it goes like this. We have an A chord and here you can play uh, almost like a full chord without the first two strings, so you get this, the third of the chord. So we have uh, A playing it two times, then we move up uh, half a step to the B flat, back to A. And of course we played this in a specific rhythm. So that's um, 
that section, that uh, chord progression we played for two times, like I said in the beginning, and then we get into the verse. Now, during the verses, it's pretty much the same thing. But then Tony is adding a few notes. So the first one, he adds um, the first note is on the fifth fret on the G string, adding some vibrato. So we have. So the second feel that we have is a trill uh, between 5th and 7th uh, frets on the D string. Then back again to the chords. Again, adding these 5th frets on the G string. So pretty much um, he alternates the single note here on the G string between the trill and just uh, jumping a little bit forward, um, just going to tell you that uh, during the second verse, um, sometimes instead of playing the uh, notes uh, on the G string or the trill, he just plays. So he goes here using the unison bend. So it's going to be 10 frets on the B string and bending G string on the 12th fret. And then slides out from 11 frets on the B string. So again, playing in between the chords, so it's going to be like this. Like that. Also, another thing, because there are two guitars, uh, the second guitar, or you can play just the power chords as you get into the verse. Not, it's not necessarily to play the third there, so you can just play the, the power chords. So that was chord progression for the verses. Now we get into the chorus, and it's very simple, it goes like this. So just three chords going on here. So first one is the C, going to B, little rest, then we play an A chord, again little rest and playing it again and sliding sliding down. So we repeat this figure for four times. That's pretty much it. Just watch out for the rhythm. The first two chords uh, next to each other, then we have little rest, chord, little rest, chord. That's it. All right, so after the chorus, we go back to playing the intro riff. It's exactly the same as we did in the beginning. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for the entire song, just uh, these three sections. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be able to spot the order of the riffs and sections. Uh, of course, we have the um, solo section, there, which we're going to take a look in another video, and also the harmonica solo. So uh, after that, it's just pretty much the same structure. After the last chorus, we have the outro uh, section, which is again, pretty much the same thing. There are small um, additional notes here and there. And uh, we end it with uh, this intro riff um, with, like I said, a, a, a few things which are added. So let's take a look at that. Um, so it goes, the first part goes like this. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, again, we play the, the first time we play the chords with the slides up and down the neck, then we play the second part of the, in, of the riff. And here, just go into the fifth fret on the low E without the pull-off, or you can play the pull-off if you want to. Then again, we play the chords. And here we add these notes, 
which we do uh, on the fifth frets on the G string. Again, second part of the of the riff. Again, the chords. Adding the trill between fifth and seventh on the D string. Second part of the of the riff again. Then again, we play the chords. Slide down the neck. The second part. Now here we have uh, the second part of the uh, of the riff, and then we play it for two more times. And in the end, we play the pull off to the third, go to the A note on the fifth fret, and that's how we end the song. Alright guys, so that was it for this lesson, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforge.com for more guitar related stuff. Stay safe, I'll see you again in the next video, and until then, as always, let the force be with you.